some days you don't like music. And uh, I think that's the biggest thing that's proved to me that, that uh, I love this, is that I continue to do it even though sometimes it feels like it's killing me. One thing about growing up in a small town is that it's insular and it protects you. You don't sort of rise up and, and become yourself. And it took maybe a little longer for me to, to step into my own shoes, so to speak. The perseverance was not quitting while I hadn't found myself yet. And maybe part of the Midwestern spirit is, is that I don't take myself too seriously. One of the silly things about being a musician is that your hands get soft, you know, and uh, I think it's a dangerous thing. You have to be a person. Uh, it's, it's too freeing to just be an artist. You're not, I don't think, you have enough coming in if you're just kind of experiencing your own art all the time. I think that's a dangerous slope to be on. You grow fed up sometimes in the world and you see things that are just disposable, buildings that are disposable, and uh, a building goes up and it comes down and uh, nothing lasts. And I think that you just need to you know, build community and that's why I'm sticking around. You do not have to be good. You do not have to walk on your knees for a hundred miles through the desert, repenting. You only have to let the soft animal of your body love what it loves. Tell me about despair, yours, and I will tell you mine. Meanwhile, the world goes on. Meanwhile, the sun and the clear pebbles of the rain are moving across the landscapes, over the prairies and the deep trees, the mountains and the rivers. Meanwhile, the wild geese high in the clean blue air are heading home again. Whoever you are, no matter how lonely, the world offers itself to your imagination calls to you like the wild geese, harsh and exciting, over and over announcing your place in the family of things.
Do not go gentle into that good night. Old age should burn and rave at close of day. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. The wise men at their end know dark is right. Because their words had forked no lightning, they do not go gentle into that good night. Good men the last wave by, crying how bright. Their frail deeds might have danced in a green bay. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Wild men who caught and sang the sun in flight, and learned too late they grieved it on its way. Do not go gentle into that good night. Grave men near death who see the blinding sight, blind eyes could blaze the meteors and be gay. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. And you, my father, there on the sad height, curse, bless me now, with your fierce tears I pray. Do not go gentle into that good night. Rage, rage against the dying of the light.
I sometimes wonder if that is what Krishna meant, among other things, or one way of putting the same thing, that the future is a faded song, a royal rose or a lavender spray of wistful regret for those who are not yet here to regret, pressed between yellow leaves of a book that has never been opened. And the way up is the way down, the way forward is the way back. You cannot face it steadily, but this thing is sure, that time is no healer, the patient is no longer here. When the train starts and the passengers are settled to fruit, periodicals and business letters, and those who saw them off have left the platform, their faces relax from grief into relief to the sleepy rhythm of a hundred hours. Bear forward, travelers not escaping from the past into different lives or into any future. You are not the same people who left that station or who will arrive at any terminus while the narrowing rails slide together behind you. And on the deck of the drumming liner, watching the furrow that widens behind you, you shall not think the past is finished or the future is before us. At nightfall, in the rigging and the aerial, is a voice descanting, though not to the ear the murmuring shell of time, and not in any language. Fair forward, you who think that you are voyaging. You are not those who saw the harbor receding, or those who will disembark. Here between the hither and the farther shore, while time is withdrawn, Consider the future and the past with an equal mind. At the moment which is not of action or inaction, you can receive this. On whatever sphere of being the mind of a man may be intent at the time of death, that is the one action, and the time of death is every moment, which shall fructify in the lives of others, and do not think of the fruit of action. Fare forward. O oh, voyagers, O oh, seamen, you who come to port and you whose bodies will suffer the trial and judgment of the sea, or whatever event, this is your real destination. So Krishna, as when he admonished Arjuna on the field of battle, not farewell, but fare forward, voyagers. <laughs>